Well, hello, hello, hello. It's Vegas Police. And this is why I love YouTube. Because if I didn't have YouTube to tell my story about what goes on out here in Las Vegas and the trials and tribulations, and you guys missed the first year and a half, there was some fun, fun stuff that went on there. Uh, and the last couple of months, we've been dealing with the dinosaur, who, by the way, out of those four companies she lists who supposedly hate me, two of them reached out to me. But I'm, I'm going to straighten that out later because right now I have more pressing matters. So we came to an agreement to come to a location on 215 and Stephanie for a store. We went down there three times. It's perfect for us. It's got a kitchen. It has the spit where you put up the adabada. It's got all that stuff. And everybody's excited. Wero, who we all you know worship because he's a genius. He's excited. Jose the Taco guy's excited. I'm excited. And it all goes to the lawyers and we agree to pay the money that they want. They want $42,000 for the equipment. And it's a big lease. It's like $8,000 a month. You know, so, you know, I mean, we talk it out. We say, look, we're going to lose $100,000 here if it goes under. Okay. Wero hires extra people in the store. There's people training over there uh, for the last couple of weeks, some young kids. And we get a call yesterday from the lawyers or from the landlord or from the person who promised this location to us. I forgot his name, but I'll get to the bottom of it. And uh, they tell us crumble cookies taking the location. So we're not giving it to you. That's the way you do business. That's the way you do business. You, you have us out there. You promise us the location. We negotiate on the price. We agree to everything you want. And now crumble cookie comes in and takes it. So, of course, I look up Crumble Cookie, fastest growing cookie company in the country, 800 locations. I, do, I see two smiling assholes. Where Crumble Cookie? God, that's pretty ugly, but I don't care. And then people expect me not to be angry. People not, don't expect me to say Crumble Cookie stole my dream for the next year. I don't know. I mean, there's no other lunatics who have a platform like mine who aren't going to say Crumble Cookie stole my dream. There aren't, there, nobody else does that. Everybody else just takes it. Or is there just no social media people who refuse to take it, you know? Because I'm not going to take this nonsense from Crumble Cookie. Does anybody know anybody who works at Crumble Cookie? You know what I mean? I want to talk to Crumble Cookie Corporate. And I want to tell them that you stole our dream. That you swooped in with your... N and by the way, who needs another Crumble Cookie? There's 800 locations. You greedy corporate a-holes. Somebody get Crumble Cookie on the phone for me, please. Or tell me how to talk to the manager or the president or whatever, or whatever corporate jerk off works at Crumble Cookie who pulled this shit on me. I want to know who it is. I'm furious. And I had a horrible day yesterday. Horrible day. Because the, ta the Tahoe that I bought for $105,000 blew up in California. The transmission blew up into the engine. And we had no car for two weeks. We had to get a car rental, whatever. We dealt with it. We took it, again, we took it up the Heine from Findlay, from Findlay Auto Group. I don't know what people do who, who just have to take it. Maybe some of you guys can tell me in the comments what happens when you just have to take it from a corporation and you don't have a platform like this to tell people what the hell's going on so that you don't lose your sanity. All right, the transmission blows up onto the engine, fine. They, supposedly they fix it. It's out for two weeks, supposedly they fix it. They give it back to us. Jose drives it for two days. It was a $105,000 vehicle. You guys know the story. I bought it for Jose. We tried to have a transportation company. The electrical system seizes up, completely collapses. There's no electrical in the vehicle. We give it back to Finley. They say, hey, we don't have an electrician to fix it. So it's going to be a little while. So I go in there and there's a counter there. And look, I'm an intense guy. I'm a super intense guy. And the more I'm in, in the West area of the country, where there's not as many intense New Yorkers as there are, you know, in New York, the more I realize I'm an intense guy. And there's a counter there, and I say to the guy in this tone, uh, exactly what happened. I don't disrespect him, certainly. You know, I'm in a place where I don't want to get thrown out. They don't, they don't know a damn thing about anything uh, involving my insanity. And he says to me, I don't like your body language. That's what they said to me at Finley, Finley, Finley Audible. I don't like your body language. So we go through the whole thing and I say, look, I gave you $105,000 for this vehicle. We had it for five months. I don't want it anymore. I don't want the vehicle anymore. I say, I'll take 88,000. You guys made at least 10,000 when you sold it to me, 15,000 when you sold it to me. 
Uh, I owe 75,000 on it. I'll take 88,000 and I'll walk away. I'll take a $17,000 loss for driving a vehicle for five months. And again, this just gets back to the conversation. I don't know what people do who don't have any place to talk this shit out. I really, I don't know. Because I wake up this morning, I mean, I'm going to the gym with this. Like I'm giving it to the YouTube. I may or may not give it to other social media platforms, depending on how much of a jerk I want to be. And I'm going to the gym with this, but I have YouTube to clear my brain to get this story out and then I'm going to the gym. So they don't like my body language. So we sit down and they tell me time and time and time again, there's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. There's not 68,000 we're gonna give you, there's nothing. So you want me to take a $37,000 loss on a vehicle that I bought from you for $105,000 that I have for five months. But it's not the fact that they want to only give me $68,000 because that's what they feel it's worth. It's not that. It's me begging and complaining and telling them time and time and time again that you're ripping me off and that there is something that you can do. And this is my, this is my argument against corporations, all of them, all the casinos out here for the most part, uh, all the people who sell you crap. There's always something that you can do. If somebody comes into the taco shop and they don't like the tacos, they get their money back. If someone comes into the taco shop twice and they don't like the tacos, they get their money back twice. They explain it to us. We're going to say to them, don't come in a third time. Of course, we can't keep you know giving you free food. We got to make a living over here. But it's the this. It's the there's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. I heard from Finley 40 times. There's nothing we, but there is something you can do. You can give me $88,000. You made at least 10 or 12 or $15,000 when you sold me that vehicle. So even if they said to me, okay, we'll give you the 68 it's worth and we'll give you back the profit that we made on your stupid ass, because I'm stupid buying a vehicle, buying a GMC, whatever the hell it is. You know, everybody says, says to you, don't buy that car. It has this issue. It has that issue. You're stupid doing that. I'm stupid. So give me back the $15,000 you made and the 68 and give me back 83. I would have taken it. They won't even budge. They won't even budge one inch. $68,000, go F yourself. $68,000, go F your. And people expect me to be quiet. So of course I'm getting aggravated with the guy. And he says to me, you're up here. You're up here. That's what he says to me. And I need you to be down here. Finley. Are you kidding me? Now that's twice you talk to me like that. And let me tell you something. I was never obnoxious. I never used any sort of ad hominem attacks or denigration of any kind, but I'm intense. I'm an intense guy. I'm out here in Vegas to be intense. I work intense. And I got barely any content done yesterday. I don't know when I'm gonna get it done today. And by the way, the first 15 times I got ripped off in Vegas, including by the dinosaur, I had no platform. I had nobody following me. Nobody gave a shit who I was. But I'm gonna make sure that everybody knows about the crumble cookie. Look, I'm drooling. This is how crazy I get. Crumble cookie stealing our dream and screwing us like that. And Finley, I want my money back. I'm gonna go get a, I'm gonna go to a lemon lawyer today at nine o'clock. I'll let you know how that goes. Because Finley will not give me a nickel. Because there's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. There's how many, how many people have done? I'm speaking right now. Okay, now I gotta do, now I gotta do my good guy routine. I apologize. I'm speaking for everybody who's heard that. There's nothing we can do. I'm gonna make sure that there's something that Crumble Cookie does and Finley does. Vegas Paulie C.